again, I know what you're thinking. Baz, how many O-levels does it take to get a job like yours? And of course the answer is none. Um, make sure you study at school, kids. We've got a great car in stock. Uh, if you've watched my channel before, you probably know this is a Range Rover Vogue 3 litre TD V6. Um, it's 2013 or 13 plate, has done 97,444 miles. Absolutely beautiful car, beautiful car to drive. Um, it is just my favorite car. And especially on, on days like today, you jump in them, you feel safe. It, it's a fantastic environment. They drive better than virtually anything else on the road. And uh, I, I would never have uh, another car to for myself personally something that you could just jump in and go anywhere um, then you can't beat a Range Rover um, okay my partner John only watches the first 30 seconds of the video so I've been driving a BMW Z4 uh, a BMW 3 Series and the weather's been foul We've just got this in, so don't buy it. <laughs> At least until March, until then I can get a sports car. Right, okay. <laughs> so, absolutely soaked. Okay, fuel economy. And, and honestly, it's pretty good. For the size of the car, it, it is really good. Um, Urban, 33.2. Extraurban 40.4 combined is 37.7 and as, as I say the, the comfort that this car gives you for five people and all your luggage it's absolutely fantastic and it, it drives like a dream 0 to 60 in 7.4 seconds top speed of 130 miles per hour out of a 254 brake horsepower 24 valve engine and even the road tax the previous shape Range Rover was 560 pounds a year the previous shape Range Rover again is fantastic this is six months 165 pounds and 12 months 300 pounds I'll just show you around it when postman Pat's being passed <laughs> he'll be coming back in a in a second okay I'll show you around it <laughs> may, may as well shut this right we've got xenons on the front we've got high pressure headlamp wash the big Range Rover grille with the black Land Rover there. The, the badge has actually worn off a little bit. It should be silver, but it's silver and black and it actually looks really, really good. It looks like it's been painted to, to be like a, a dark sort of starry sky. So I, I, I'm not gonna change that, I like that. We've had the alloys refurbished, so they're like brand new. Two new tires on the front, new discs, new pads, now let's see here we've got so it's finished in in black um i, I can't remember the name of it. I th it used to be santorini but whatever it is now it's it's the black metallic you've got this kind of dark silver door mirror dark silver um inset on the bonnet there at the back dark silver vents on the side there and also this little kind of uh, rubbing strip along there and the uh sill protectors and bottom of the door protectors it, beautiful car tinted windows uh, new rear discs and pads as well it's we've gone through the car um it's it's i think it's probably the second cheapest on the the internet um and i think i think the other ones are private might be third cheapest but okay we've also got uh, easy access doors or keyless entry whatever you want to if you've got the key on you you can just open it or, or you can shut it as well like by just touching the door handle and then same to open it so uh, personally that's not a feature I like these days uh, and you do need to uh, probably get yourself a, a Faraday back pouch to leave in the house there um, or, or to put your key in when you've gone shopping you don't want anybody nicking your pride and joy here for the price we're asking, what a lot of car for, for the price we're asking. Um, I'll just show you around the back. Okay, we've got 
Well, first of all, the wipers hidden underneath this uh, rear spoiler or the, the roof spoiler. We've got um, a reversing camera. Click that button there. Power tailgate. Um, we've got load cover there. One thing that I need to make clear is that's that's powered as well. However, it doesn't power up. It doesn't work on the way up. So you, you need to know that. And to be honest, it's not something that we, we will repair. It doesn't need repairing and it's a waste of money. We'd rather keep the car cheaper. If you want it repairing, then by all means, we'll have a look at it, but it would be an extra cost. And as I say, in my opinion, it's a waste of money. Um, it, it's, it's light enough. It's not like the big pickup tailgates where you it's like weight lifting. It, it's just light enough for anybody. Um, so we've got split rear seats as well. Flat load area. We've got the load cover here. There you go. As I say, if you press that, it's supposed to go up, but it doesn't. It, it does that, gets stuck. Uh, but, I mean, it's... Uh, you can do it with one finger, so it's, it's not a, a, a big thing. Got reversing sensors in the back there. That, there's a panel there that you can take off to fit a tow bar if you so desire. And then we've got power closing tailgate. I'll just show you on the back. So, we've, we've gone from a monsoon to, uh, it's, it's just stopped raining. Anyway, in the back here, beautiful condition, absolutely lovely. We've got the full pan roof as well. You've got here, Rear centre armrest and, and it's a luxurious reel. Got cup holders, doesn't look like they've ever been used, don't look like anybody sat in the back. And also we've got a, a little place there for your phones or oddments that you can just put away. But keeps the kids apart in the back so there's no fighting and uh, they can put the cans of pop in there. So lovely in here. You've got your own climate control, uh, your own climate control switches in the back here and you've also got heated seats rear heated seats the the one who gets in the center is gonna gonna be cold but you get one on each side you've got airbags here in the in the uh, b pillar airbags in the c pillar and what effectively is the d d pillar there's airbags in that as well so really really nice safe environment um beautiful car it, meridian speakers in here we've got the, uh, the the kind of the walnut finish bags of room i've got my seat right the way back there's bags of room it's it's beautiful to drive beautiful to be a passenger in i'll just take you for a ride in it What a horrid day. <laughs> Good Bennett, I'm soaked. Okay, let's get going. So I've got the key in my pocket. It's uh, keyless start here. Foot on the brake uh, and, and that's fine. We've got three position electric memory seats and uh, you've also got lumbar support, which uh, let me just say, I'll just, uh, so there you go, up and down electrically. Get uh, get quite far back. One of those stupid clutch design uh, radio knobs where the faster you turn, the the less the volume goes down. Um, Going to get me in trouble with YouTube one day with copyright issues, but uh, I think that was just playing an audio book off my phone. So here we go. These are the memories as you can see there door mirrors steering wheel seat all go to a position and these these three positions so if i if i just set where i want to go uh, I, I, let's just see position two because 
there's usually a, a, a man and wife and uh, some of them are, are quite are quite funny yep not <laughs> People call my driving position, and I promise you, I've I've not touched this. This is just how it is. So that's that's the second one. So I I don't know what that second position was. That that's like uh, having a uh, having a nap in a car, which uh, re reminds me one day when I, uh, I I worked at BMW a long time ago, and I'd had a heavy night the night before, and. I went out to do a test drive and it all to, to show a customer and it all finished quite quickly so on the way back i pulled up in a lay-by with the intention of just having a, a nap for 10 minutes unfortunately i woke up about half past seven at night and and the dealership sh shut at six o'clock and there was no mo mobile phones then so uh it was like they thought i'd been kidnapped but anyway back to the car so you've got electric steering wheel there you've also got power folding door mirrors and honestly on, on a day like today i really really feel sorry for other drivers that don't have a range rover it's it's been lashing down today there's big puddles on the road and this just sails through them you you just you just waft along and, it, and it, it's beautiful we've got here sat nav I'll, I'll, I'll show you this stuff as we're going along but i'll just agree there where's my phone just make sure uh, yep so everything's working there a nasty message from our workshop I'm sorry I read that they uh, they're waiting to MOT this vehicle and uh, of course I've been waiting to um, I've been waiting to uh, photograph and video it uh, for the for the rain to clear so right off we go so into drive it's got the the gear selector that i like as well it's um gives you all sort of lot seem seemingly a lot more room at the front it's got the panoramic roof as well which i i really like it makes the inside of the car completely different changes it completely uh from a from a kind of a claustrophobic dark environment to a, a beautiful sunny even when it's like this raining it's still nice and light in the car cold winter's days we've got heated front screen also here we've got heated steering wheel which honestly in, until you've had one uh, you just don't know how good they are we've got heated seats click that button there display changes here and we can just there's three positions we'll have it on one climate control say heated front screen um, it's it's so good and when when there's ice on your windscreen in the morning and you see everybody else sat in their car and shivering away and so on and, and scraping their eyes off and you you just get in this and it just disappears here we've got two cup holders the uh, locking wheel nut key is in there so it may rattle in which case i'll move it but it's just so the next owner, uh, who don't forget, can't look at it till March. <laughs> um, I, they are these cars are just awesome, honestly. I just love driving them. We've got front centre armrest. We've got a. These are adjustable ones. There's a little knob there that you can adjust up and down. You've got the big front central armrest there. It's also got a, a little refrigerator or cooler in there. If you uh, put that up and then, sorry, shouldn't really be doing that, but do that. There's a little cooling box in there with a switch to knock it on. Um, as I say, cup holders there, a power socket there as well. At the front in here, where the cooler box is, there's an aux in, um, there's a, um, USB and another power socket in there on the steering wheel here we've got the paddle shift and up and down minus on the left plus on the right and then we've also got cruise control here just uh, put that rear wash wipe on the meridian speakers so 
the, the sound in here I'll uh, I'll try and remember to put a record on so you very quickly so you can hear what it's like Just give it a bit of gas going up the dual carriageway here. And two plus tons with five people in and all the luggage waft up to well let's just say 60 miles an hour there. Got uh, Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming. Headlamp wash, power opening tailgate, so the, the car has had new discs and pads all round, that's uh, an unusual Registration number HJ Sippy. I would read that as let's Google HJ Sippy's hairdressers when I get back. We've also got a little switch here for getting out of the vehicle. You click the switch and it lowers it down but it's really good so so much easier to get in one of these and as I say I've been using a HJ Sip is a very naughty driver <laughs> that, uh, that was virtually going through on red um, so here we go we've got uh, phone you've also got audio there now then let's actually low fuel lights come on get off Put the, there's the TV it's just showing at the moment but it, it'll go off when I set off and turn that up against presenter Naga Manchetti over comments she made on air about President Trump here's the exchange yeah BBC bias broadcasting corporation and I'm thinking that chap came through a little bit late there on there uh, his red light on his side. The A team there. I should really have done a fly pass there just to see if the uh, motorway is okay but it looks like it is as I say if you look here I'll, I'll switch the wipers on full we'll get in the outside lane you can see where the um, I'll actually put the front screen on there because it's also a bit I'm, I'm absolutely soaked so the car's misting up I've got the aircon on low we'll put that on a bit higher warm up and then let's see set so there switch on in the middle just need to pull it down a little bit just going over 70 there which I don't want to do that's uh, 70 miles an hour there just over 1500 revs quiet as quiet as anything as I say you can see there it's just horrible on the motorway we'll just put our hazards on there so that nobody piles into the back although that's another Range Rover story I have we have a customer came to see one of our Range Rovers and uh, his other one had been written off and he'd been on the motorway when a lorry driver had been texting behind him and uh, ran into the back of him in a Range Rover there it was in a Range Rover Vogue the back of his Range Rover was up to the back of his seat squashed and he got out of it he, one, or, one or two bruises <laughs> but he got out of it 
and uh, the first thing he wanted to do was go and buy another Range Rover as soon as he got his compensation his, uh, and his settlement for his write-off car. I'm coming off here at the next junction, so didn't get a fantastic idea of what it's like on the motorway, but I've had plenty of Range Rovers and they are the best car to be in. So we've got the uh, roof there. We've also got that. If I've pressed the right button, yes, I have. That's the shade band coming across. The It never gets too light, but sometimes it gets too hot with the, with the sun beating down, even though it is tinted. So you, you've got that. We'll, we'll put that up. There we go. You've also got tilt and slide. And uh, as you can see. Now, I suppose it would serve me right if that roof didn't shut when it's throwing it down. But uh, it's a Range Rover. Just keep ahead of this lorry driver as well. Don't get covered in spray. Car, the car is just beautiful. It's uh, just let's see if I can find the lumbar support there. And yep, there you go. Car is beautiful. Oh, actually, I, th I thought I could hear wind noise, and of course I can because the uh, the roof was in the tilt position. I thought I'd got one of the windows open then. What, honestly, what a fantastic car. And I like the old Range Rovers. I, I did prefer the big square shape of the old Range Rovers, but these are really growing on me. And they drive better and they're more economical than the old Range Rovers. So if you, can, if you can't afford one, the old Range Rover's fine. If you can, the new one, all aluminium body, of course. And uh, it's, th this, this car is ideal, absolutely ideal for me. I would prefer it if there were click switches and not so much of the touch screen, like a proper Range Rover should be, because you know, <laughs> having said that, you've got you've got heated seats, heated heated steering wheel. It's not likely you're going to be wearing gloves, but switches are always better if you're wearing gloves. And hearing a click and feeling the click on your fingers rather than, you know, I mean, I once you get used to switches, you can move your hand around and kind of touch feel them and and then switch it. But with a with a touch screen, you, you, you're never quite sure. So you do have to take your eyes off the road. I'll just go a little bit further and then I'll, I'll pull up and I'll show you how to use the sat nav, uh, how to pay your mobile to this system, how to stream audio. And, uh, but, but first, before I finish this video, I'll, hopefully there's nothing under the bridge here. I'll, I'll just stop quickly and then uh, put some music on and the, the sound in these Range Rovers with the Meridian speakers is just awesome. Only be able to do a quick clip as again it's uh, it causes a, a copyright issue but we are stopped let's just music what have we got now playing I don't know what's, I don't know what's playing oh Rolling Stones <laughs> this should be good there we go. So into audio, got audio video there. My music, rolling. St oh, here we go. Start me up. What can you say? So here we go. I'll carry on the drive now. It looks like we might be stuck behind a lorry, in which case, yeah, we are stuck behind a lorry, so I'll, I'll just give it some time to go. Um, 
we we have just had this vehicle serviced we're going to have it mot later on today as my text just reminded me there um but I'll, I'll just check the suspension and just make sure everything's all right i i know it will be because they've, they've had the car up on the ramp putting new discs on here we go give it some gas Here we can just change the weight. So no cracks, everything perfect. No, no cracks or knocks. Everything absolutely superb. Just a beautiful car, and as I say, one of the cheapest new shape uh, Range Rovers, if not the cheapest or best value on the market, especially with the the roof here, the the pan roof. Because I think the one that's cheaper, I don't think it has a pan roof. And uh, it, it completely changes the car. Okay, you pull up at the... You can see what's going on in front of you. What's coming from the side. What's coming over the hinges. And then give it some gas and get out of the way of anything that is coming it's just uh, just lovely have I forgotten anything probably terrain response control there just click that up and then you can move it to whatever you want there's lorry in my first port of call for doing the video for a how to set the sat nav There you can change the menu on the front there, driving features and so on. I think this would benefit from the new wiper on the driver's side, which I'll uh, ask them to do on the MOT. But apart from that, that's about the only thing I can find wrong with it. And even that's not horrendous, it's just my preference. <laughs> 